Hey Libra, this is Ascension Empress with your March love reading. Thank you all so much for your love and your support, your appreciation, your patience, everything. I truly, truly appreciate you all. And welcome if you're new. Please like, share, and subscribe. And comment below what resonates with you. Anything positive, you know, please leave the rest. And yeah, we're going to see what messages we have in love. This is for your sun, moon, or rising. If you have another placement and you feel it resonates with you, go for it. Use your discernment. I'll be using the right away tarot deck. And I may clarify with the Talima, the mother piece, and I will implement the Kipper, okay? So let us see what messages we have for my Libras. For the month of March, what messages? May peace and blessings be upon everyone. Oh, we got a reverse one in here. Interesting. So I do feel like there's someone who's no longer um, left out in the cold. Um, or they're getting over some type of abandonment, some victim mindset as well. Um, but you got the first two cards. You got the Nine of Cups and the Knight of Swords as well as this nine of wands in reverse somebody may also have trouble getting out of a victim like mindset um but i feel like somebody it's just crazy this is crazy it's just like around the time that the mercury mercury retrograde was beginning the page of swords just kept coming up kept coming up to lurk to stalk to spy on everybody in the collective okay now it's just like People are choosing peace. People are really taking care of themselves, being present, counting their blessings. And there's still this interference. I'm getting some type of trigger. It could just be um, external communication as well is what I'm getting. But I, I, I'm i getting unfinished business. With this nine of wands in reverse, it could be um, romantic relationship or something. But I get that someone's over here um, really enjoying life, really enjoying um, the emotional fulfillment. I'm getting that they've reached, that they've worked to get towards. Meanwhile, there's something coming in. There's someone coming in. It could be another Libra, um, Aquarius, or Gemini. But let's see, what messages do we have underlying the reading? Mm, look at that y'all look at that you got the justice card and the three of wands so this could be something legal yeah something that was neglected or getting a neglection rejection or something but i'm getting going forward it may really leave it's gonna leave somebody feeling scarred or something going forward. Um, but I'm also I keep hearing a matter of time. It's only a matter of time, so maybe three weeks, three months, three days. Um, something's going. Yeah, we got the month of March, and you got the yeah, you got the three, <laughs> y'all. Mm mm. These threes, okay. You got the three of wands. You got the nine of cups, and you got the nine of wands. Okay, so this could be something lately you could be waiting on a decision as well i'm also getting you don't have to worry but i mean maybe this person knows that that's why they're probably trying to it's like i get the blame game i keep getting the and you're just like so emotionally unbothered let's see what well, well that's why most people come for you they feel intimidated by that type of stuff so let's see what messages do we have overlaying the reading what messages do we have overlaying Look at that, y'all. That's crazy because you are the high priestess. You are very intuitive. I'm getting you see right through. You, you probably intuitively knew um, that there was going to be some type of distraction, some type of attempt of interference um, to interrupt your peace is what I'm getting. But you really being in this Queen of Cups energy, it's interesting how you are a Libra air sign, um, but you're not showing up as the Queen of Swords or... You know, none of that. Because you know, you know karma does its thing, yep, in due time with this three of wands. Um, I'm also getting you're being very patient because you know you don't have to say much. You don't have to do much. You don't really need to react. A lot of cups here. I feel like many of you are going through a spiritual transformation and just saying less at the time, really being emotionally aware and grounded um, so that you don't 
end up in this nine of swords energy like other people um, where you don't think before you speak is what I'm getting. Also being mindful of drinking, overindulging. Yeah, because that was strong with Taurus maybe. Because it got to the point where it's like they going to have to, somebody needs help. They also need to talk to somebody. I do get an energy around seeking therapy. Yep, and you got the four swords that's going to come out. Getting your rest, taking your time, relax, relaxing, implementing some type of um, spiritual discipline, some type of meditation where you are just, I'm getting just be. Just be. Clarify this nine of wands in reverse, please. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. That's crazy. You got the lovers and the three of pentacles. So I get for some people, it's just like you can, you could be dealing with somebody who is feeling like their world is upside down. Like they tried everything, everything for maybe some time to make this work. Um, but now you're moving forward here with other connections. Also, I get this. There's a phase, there's a phase or a chapter within a, a relationship, a partnership that's coming to an end. And it's something that you know you don't have to waste your time, your energy speaking on. Um, you're taking this Queen of Cups, High Priestess, Four of Swords energy, and you're letting time do its thing with the Justice and the Three of Wands here. I feel like that approach is really allowing you um, and allowing others to the right people to come to you and to work with you and to build towards what it is that I'm getting may have failed in the past with this nine of wands in reverse so it could be something else um but i get support here so let's see what messages do we have for the clarify this high priestess and the queen of cups very interesting somebody could be dealing with the gemini um but i get there's a partner here who is also i'm getting they're protecting your energy yeah you got two cards they want to come out i feel like there's a partner that's helping you protect your energy yep and you got the seven of cups and the six of wands wow and that's clarifying the high priestess and the queen of cups so yeah some of you may know um that everything's not clear but you got intuition you are the high priestess you are the queen of cups um so i feel like you're may you may be weighing your options at this point um trying to figure out what's the best thing for you to do and being mindful that this is also probably an emotional decision with the Queen of Cups. Um, but the High Priestess is here to remind you um, to follow your intuition and to don't be deceived by all these different options as well. Um, know that after the Seven of Cups is the Eight of Cups. You know, you're choosing to have faith in the unknown, um, choosing to walk away from what's presented to you as if the, those are the only options um, because you know that eighth cup is someone who is the high priestess it is someone who is the queen of cups who is able to tap into their themselves on a soul level like okay is this is this really going to serve a purpose you know um searching for that deeper meaning but i'm gonna you're gonna be very successful um some of you may be traveling moving as well i'm also getting it some information whatever is not clear to you now um and it could be due to emotions it's going to become clear um i'm getting as we step into airy season as well um but there's a huge theme around community community collaboration um, even children here with the lover's card, you got the three of pentacles and travel with the six of wands and the three of wands. So let's see, what would you like my Libras to be aware of? Look, you got the will of fortune. Be aware that there's the end of a cycle is coming. Um, the end of a chapter, a new day as well. What other messages do you have for my Libras? Look, yep, yeah, you got the Two of Pentacles. So if there's a question um, as to whether finances is going to, yeah, because uh, finances may play a role in this decision making. Um, it may make it confusing um, and questionable, but I'm getting, for some of you, things are going to be coming together. Again, there's support here, there's collaboration. Um, 
I'm getting the people you work with for some reason. It's supposed to be a love reading, but y'all let me know. <laughs> let me know. So let us see. What messages do we have? Also, the ending to juggling. Yeah, the end, and you know, being treated like an option is what I'm seeing here. Um, okay, first off, okay, yeah, you got the hermit card, high priestess, and yep, yep, okay, there it is. You got the eight of pentacles and the nine, uh, night, I want to say the night. Okay, so somebody is wanting to offer you something, but at this point, <laughs> you are attracting. I'm getting business-minded people as well. Um, people who may think practically. It may not even be business, but it, it could be earth sign. Okay, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Um, but with this King of Pentacles, I do get a Knight of Pentacles behind it. Like, you know, I'm here. Um, they see the work that you've put in. They see the investment. They see how consistent and disciplined you are. Um, I feel like somebody... Yeah, please protect your energy, too, because somebody could be doing magic against your finances and your stability because you're very successful. Yeah, and I'm not going to forget that night of wands. That night, see, I want to say the night of wands could be somebody who's in and out. They have a lot of problems. That's been showing up lately. There's some people with some personal problems who need to stay where they came from, okay? Um, you got the hermit card here, so you know when to retreat. And if not, saying it's time for you to take that time to, you know, go within um, and balance out the Six of Wands energy. Because you may be attracting a lot of attention when you are out and about. Um, I get an energy of having to keep going, but just wanting to be alone, wanting to be left alone. But you're still having to, like, keep working towards something and then be there emotionally for somebody else. And then, you know, you got this going on and then you got decisions to make and then you got rejection and some type of interference to deal with. And so I feel like you're being asked to ground yourself um, and take that time again to really go within. So I forgot the Kipper, y'all. So we just going to pull real quick and see what messages the Kipper has. <laughs> what messages do we have for my Libras? Look, y'all. You have the gift and unexpected income. So again, like I said, there is support here. Someone sees. There's at least someone. It could be a romantic partner. Um, but they see behind I'm getting even the poker face because you got a lot going on here you got a lot going on um but with this Virgo full moon and this hermit popping out and us being in Pisces season going into Aries you know it's really time for us to take a step back and receive take care of ourselves and receive what it is that is coming to us with these gift and this unexpected income um because we don't want to be burnt out when it's time to take off airy season okay so let's see what is the overall message what is the overall message <laughs> i got another reading for y'all don't worry about it because i showed this pulled two from the kipper i'm like i'm not doing 20 minute readings no not unless they're personal so you can email me if you would like one um but yes let's see what is the overall message wow again look Again, y'all, the Knight of Swords, and this time you got the Six of Pentacles. So there is an energy about what you give your time and your energy to. Like, and who will you worship? Let's see. <laughs> who will you speak to? Like, invest your, I mean, your communication in. And it's just, it's just a lot. There's a lot of giving and receiving here. Um, and it could end up being with the right people. I feel like if some people don't slow down, this energy can come in and you could still be wondering where did it go with that Nine of Wands in reverse. Um, somebody, you know, may know that someone is coming in to offer you something, to offer you assistance, to offer you a gift. And they want to come and interfere with that, with the Knight of Swords and maybe even manipulate that. They have some secrets with the High Priestess. But you're still being reminded, like, 
think before you speak yeah libra y'all had that reading where it's like what will you say you know how will you react and that's been a theme for y'all for a while now so i'm getting focusing on what makes sense focusing on you know um real reliable practical decisions as well um virgo energy is huge so be mindful of your health your work your routine and your service the six of pentacles how you serve how much are you giving are you giving to yourself are you taking that time for yourself are you heeding what is being told to you in solitude so that is your reading, you all. Thank you all so much for your love and your support. If you would like to personal, again, you can email me. My information is down below. Please take care. Bye.